Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the number 17 decks both the branded and the unbranded from the Requiem team. Uh, this deck series, uh, this was done on a Kickstarter. It was a successful campaign. Uh, the Requiem team is Lorenzo. Uh, Lorenzo lives out in Stockholm, Sweden. He loves playing cards. He designs playing cards. And uh, he is the genius behind Stockholm 17. That's the name he uses uh, on social media. It's the name he uses when he designs decks of cards. Uh, this is his third Kickstarter campaign. Uh, if you might remember, he also did Requiem and he did the Heretic playing cards, both of which uh, I reviewed and loved. And you can go back and check and find those reviews as well. Now, with the campaign, there were two other decks that were also printed. There was a mini deck and a micro deck. Uh, this is the micro deck and it's done in the unbranded version with the unbranded colorings. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of what that video looks like right now, just so you can see some of the size detail and uh, notice what the illustrations look like on the faces. Of course, it's the same design as the card itself. There hasn't been any uh, redrawn changes for this model. Uh, the thing with a mini deck, though, of course, is that it's going to be the same height as a standard deck of cards because it's the same thickness as a deck of cards. And so uh, it's more of a novelty item. I really wouldn't say that you're going to play cards with this or do magic with it. Sometimes you can do fun reveals with a mini deck of cards where you take one full-size card and you shrink it down. Uh, but other than that, I think it's just a fun collector's item. This deck was actually inspired by a previous deck that Lorenzo had done. Uh, it was a promo deck for a website that kind of came and left. But um, the remnants of that, I think Lorenzo really liked and gravitated towards. And he wanted to revisit that idea and just make just a really kick butt deck of cards. Um, there's no really specific theme to this deck. Uh, you, you say number 17, but I mean, you ask Lorenzo what that means, he would just say it's eccentric and it's just full of energy. Uh, Lorenzo kind of let his imagination and his creativity run wild when he illustrated these. And I think this is just a, just a big powerhouse deck of Lorenzo's just fun artwork and just really intricate creative design. On the branded deck, it says bicycle across the front and then you have the number 17 Joker there in the center. It says 17 poker size playing cards there. The sides are very simple, just with a really uh, cool triangle pattern. And then the bottom has some ad copy about Stockholm 17. The top has a original deck seal right there. And then a little red pattern there on the top. The tuck flap has some ad copy about bicycle. And then there's the number 17 on one of the smaller tuck flaps. The unbranded tuck case is all done in red foil. It says number 17 playing cards and uh, number 17 there on the sides. Uh, the back design is uh, kind of an outline or a popped relief of the back design of the cards. And again, you're gonna have an original tuck seal, uh, but overall a very simplistic design. Both of these tuck cases have uh, embellishments, embossings on the front and the back. And that is pretty much it for the tuck cases. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on their infamous retail stock. It's very thin, very snappy. You get a lot of fun action from these cards. Uh, they are done with a modern cut and they do have air cushion embossing. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Between the branded and the unbranded deck, they're virtually the same on the faces. The only thing that's really different is the tuck cases and the back design. The branded design is done in a cherry red back and the unbranded design has a more beige white with red accent. Uh, here they are side by side and you can see how uh, similar they are in design and it's the color and the coloring of the cards that uh, makes them highlight different features of the design and brings out different aspects and makes that uh, bold difference between one and the other. With this deck, you're gonna get a couple of things. The first of which is you're gonna get two identical jokers, one red, one black, and you can see that they alternate color between both the faces and the lettering. You're also gonna get a third joker, which is a jack-o'-lantern character that's sitting in the same posture as the previous jokers, uh, but it's just a little bit more haunting, a little bit more scary. And you're also gonna get a gaff card, which is a queen of hearts on one side and a queen of diamonds on the other side, which is very similar to the Bewave gaff. All four of your aces are large and very ornate. Uh, there's the heart, and here's the club, diamond, and your ace of spades. You really know you're holding a Stockholm 17 deck uh, when you're looking at the court cards. Uh, Lorenzo's artwork is just incredible, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Uh, it's just beautiful, you know? I mean, sure, there's probably no uh, theme that ties it all together, but I think it's Lorenzo's artwork that ties it all together. There's kind of a theme tying these cards together. Uh, there's a text that's circling the background, 
uh, in each one of the court cards, and it's part of the Aenid, which is a Latin epic poem that was written by Virgil between 29 and 19 BC. And it tells the legendary story of a Trojan who traveled to Italy, where he became the ancestor of all the Romans. The only other faint theme that ties them together, the diamond cards uh, kind of look like they're all inspired by Egypt. Well, that is it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks.